again, before we start our discussion, let me ask you a question. What is the plate of keratin that lies on the tips of your fingers and your toes? Very good! It is called a nail. So, there you have it. Our lesson for today is all about nail structure and nail shape. In this lesson, you will learn to identify the structure of the nail and different nail shapes. Also, you will be able to describe different nail shape applicable to the structure of the nail and illustrate the different nail shape according to the nail structure after the lesson. Afterwards, you will be able to appreciate the importance of knowing the nail shapes according to the nail structure. The basic information about nail. Nail is a plate of keratin that lies on the tips of the fingers and toes. The main purpose of the nail is to protect the fingers and toes. However, the fingernail also assists with certain physical activities in daily life. The structures of nail. Number one is lunula. The pearly colored and crescent shape is due to the cells being pushed closely together. The blood capillaries cannot be seen through the lunula because of this. Number two, cuticle. Cuticle is the overlapping epidermis around the nail. It is the transparent skin, which is called the true cuticle that is removed during the manicuring process. Number three is the free edge. It is the part of the nail that can be filed and shaped. It is an extension of the nail plate that overlaps the hyponychium. The fourth one is the matrix. Matrix is the only living reproducing part of the nail. This is directly below the cuticle. New cells form here and continually pushing towards to produce the nail plate. It is also contains blood vessels and nerves. Blood supply provides the cells with nourishment. If the matrix is damaged, the nail will grow deformed. The fifth one is the nail bed. Nail bed, the part of the nail where the nail plate rests on. Also, a continuation of the matrix. It is abundantly supplied with blood vessels and nerves, having numerous parallel ridges with dovetail exactly with the ridges on the under surface of the nail plate. Number six, the nail walls. Nail walls, the folds of skin that overlap the sides of the nail. They hold your nail in the place and protect the nail plate edges. Number seven, the nail plate or the body of the nail. It is visible nail that rests on the nail bed up to the free edge. This is made up from dead cells and minimum amount of moisture. The nail is semi-transparent allowing the color of the blood supply of the dermis to show. And the last one is the nail fold. It is the tissue that encloses the nail matrix at the root of the nail. It attaches the nail to the rest of the skin through the protective cuticle. Okay, so those are the structures of nail. Number one, the lunola. Two, the cuticle. Three, free edge. Four, matrix. Five, nail bed. Six, nail walls. Seven, nail plate or body of the nails. And the eighth one is 
the nail pole. So, are we all clear? Let's proceed to the shapes of nail. Shapes of nail. The shape of nail conforms to that of fingertips of an individual. The following are the basic shapes of nail. Number one, the oval nail. It is common among people with long, perfect nail beds. It may be styled slightly rounded at the base and slightly pointed at the fingertips. Most often, this type of nail has a natural look and looks very good in a short, medium length. Number two, round nail. Round nail is ideal for shorter nails. The nail is allowed to grow out straight at the sides for approximately 1.5 millimeter and then the tip is filed into a rounded shape. This is a strong shape which is great for those who keep their nails short. Number three, a stiletto or pointed nail. It is filed away at the sides to a point at the tip. This shape is very weak as the sides of the nail are totally lost. The fourth one is the scoval. As above, but followed by squaring off the tip, this gives the nail tip strength over the oval shape. The fifth one is the square nail. Square nail is the square shaped nails are the most famous among the nail shapes. It is created by allowing the nail to grow out straight and then filing the tip straight across at the right angles with the rest of the nail plate. Okay, so those are the different shapes of nail. Number one, oval nail. Two, round nail. Three, a stiletto or pointed nail. Four, scoval nail. And the fifth one is the square nail. Okay, so those are the different shapes of nail. So, since we are done with the structures and different shapes of nail, we will trim our nails together by following the steps on how to trim nails. Are you ready? I know you are ready. So, in trimming our nails, we must have a nail cutter and a nail file. Steps in trimming of nails. Trimming of nail plays a very vital role. It is very easy task, but sometimes it causes little problems such as unwanted abrasions and ingrown nails when not done properly. Apply these following steps while cutting nails. Step number one, prepare the types of instruments for this task. Nail cutter, who has small or medium slightly curved blades, which are suitable for trimming the fingernails. Nail cutters with straight blades are suitable for use. Step number two. Before using your nail cutter, make sure that it is clean. Wash your nail cutter to remove dust and germs, especially when you are sharing your nail cutter with someone else. Dry thoroughly after washing it. Step number three. Wash your hands. Wipe dry with any towel or tissue paper to remove extra water. This process cleans your fingernails and beside cleaning fingernails, it is also helps in softening your nails and easier to cut them. Step number four. 
You must cut your nails in a place where you can clearly see what you are doing. Put a small container near you in which you can collect the nails. Number five, decide the shape of your nails. Decide which shape you actually want. After deciding, lift your nail cutter and start cutting your nails. Number six, start cutting your nails starting from your little finger. Step number seven, click on the nail cutter that can cut through the nail. You can make at least two or three cuts of a fingernail until everything is snug. Follow the curve of the nail to get a clean cut. Check skin flaps after each cut and remove carefully. Step number eight. Sit comfortably and crouch your knees side to easily reach up and see the nails clearly. Be sure not to set up deep razor to prevent scratches. Adjust the position of razor if you feel any discomfort. Step number nine. After cutting your nails, use a nail file to smooth any rough and odd surface of newly trimmed nails. When you file, do it on a tilt from the corner of the nail to go down. The last step, apply some moisturizer on your hand to keep the cuticles moisturized and smooth. Okay, so class, are you ready to trim your nails? Let's do this! Why is nail care important? Nails are a specialized form of skin. They ensure our sensitive fingers and toes. We use our hands for all intents and purposes and nails probably for little things like scratching and many other things. But while dealing with nails, hands and toes, we don't give them suitable consideration they need. Unhygienic nails cannot only prompt numerous diseases, but also can eventually deliver germs and bacteria to our mouth without any paying attention to it. The secret key to maintaining healthy fingernails and toenails is nail care. Healthy and hygienic nails can forestall many fungus infections of the skin. For giving proper care nails, deserve a majority of people visit the nail care salon nearby. Pedicure and manicure are two essential and most valuable treatments to keep our nails healthy and strong. In order to maintain healthy nails, trim the nails Wash and clean the hands, give your nails a break, not cutting the cuticles, and keep them moisturized. Nail biting can also worsen a nail condition, such as an infecting of harming around the nail bed. It is imperative to deal with nails by cleaning them routinely. This way, nail care is a vital thing to maintain a healthy body. So, always once a week, get the treatments for ensuring the great look of nails and clean them regularly for keeping them strong and hygienic, especially this time of pandemic. <laughs> Thank you.
all for today, class. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Once again, I'm Mom Judy saying never stop learning because life never stops teaching. See you next time!